So, Dr. Stone, this episode briefly describes survival of the fittest. Senku versus Tarzan. Who will win in the end? This just got more exciting. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ranger Flame. Welcome to everyone back to a brand new Dr. Stone review. Today, guys, we're on episode 3, which is Weapon of Science. And my gosh, this is going to be a good fight. I'm pretty excited for it. But before I give you details about that, that's more towards the middle slash ending of this, let's talk about the start. So the beginning of this uh, episode, we all know that Tsukasa, his character was too good to be true. We see this guy wake up out of nowhere, literally falcon punch a lion and kill it, and then afterwards, it's going to work with Senku and the others. We all know that was too good to be true. Like, there was no way he was going to join Senku and Taiju on their journey to revive humanity. Because at the end of episode 2, we see that uh, Tukasa has his own dream, his own desires. He doesn't want humanity to go back to normal. A big flaw about that in our day and age now is that there's always a law and a strict system. Tukasa, he's looking at a future where everyone wants to be open, free, no adult whatsoever and he's technically a murderer and the worst part about it and is described even within this episode is that Senku wants to keep this fluid a secret from him because if he knows about this fluid and the ingredients that Senku and Taiju need for this he could basically destroy their whole operation and this is what the world is going to be the stone world that's all it's going to be and humanity is going to be ruined and not go back to let's say the 2019-2020 period at that time though Tanju, he messes up. It's a pretty funny moment that Senku is basically telling him to shut up because Tukasa is evil and we can't know him learning these secrets whatsoever, but he does find it. And it's scary about this because he's more of an OP character. We see him right off the bat that he has like these basically god powers, like punching a lion in the face, killing it, grabbing birds out of midair, fighting in the ocean, and now we see that he has the IQ strength as well. I don't know if this was this person before the Stone Age happened. If it was, then oh my gosh, like that is terrifying, or he got it coming out the stone right there and i think it's coming out of the stone ability and what i say by that is when tenshu is trying to hold his ground against them because he's trying to of course um hurt senku and the others we see that he kind of deflected his kick and what we mean by that is saying like for example hunting down birds and animals we see his physical strength that taiju was able to survive that so this is confirmed for dr stone that like a different humanity or a different person you'll come up with some sort of ability like power is gained smarts but senku was smart from the beginning of that and then of course we see what tukasa his godlike ability and now we see with uh tanju in this uh of course episode with good defense somewhere around there i don't know that confuses me and hopefully we get a lot of information about that throughout this episode here but uh another thing that happened with this is that we see yuzu alive and all well we see them of course make another fluid and he kind of tricks tukasa at the exact same time with this fluid because we all know that some parts of this fluid we of course need that bad acid that was in the cave of course that we saw in episode one when Senku put Taiju in there so that he wouldn't be hurt or nothing bad within the world will come towards a stone because of course people in the stone are very fragile and you could die easy and we see that part of the acid that's only one part towards you know recreating this fluid to help humanity so he kind of tricks the cost at the exact same time to make enough fluid to revive users so we see her as of course a main character and I'm gonna like that because we're gonna get a lot more backstory towards her and Tanju of course is really happy about it because now he could be with her basically forever and he could actually probably have the guts to actually say I love you to her and now we see her as our third or I guess you could say fourth main character within the series but I guess third character if you're looking towards a good person so Tanju Yuzu are back together and Senku now is thinking of a strategy of how to defeat Tsukasa because they have different ideals. It doesn't matter. Senku wants to rescue everyone in this world while Tsukasa, the other hand, is a nice guy but a murderer. Perfect example, when he was trying to come back, of course, to the hideout, we see him killing the adults but, of course, helping the youth. That little girl, for example, him giving his shelled necklace to her. So, he's basically a 50-50, a guy that's killing adults but is helping 
little kids or young adults or teenagers, etc., like that. Um, but there's one plan to defeat uh, Tukase, even though he has his godlike ability. And even Senku at this part tried to kill him with the crossbow. He made a crossbow out of his whole weaponry or his anterior. So that doesn't work across from him, even though it was going like, I think it was like 200 kilometers, somewhere like that, he was explained. So he needs to think of something else. And he goes on a journey with Yuzu and Taiju, a weapon of science, but that's a discovery of us audience of what to actually figure that out. So they're traveling to this new destination that's basically two marathons ahead of them, which is like, I, I think Taiju said it was like a five to six hour run or walk somewhere around there to get to their destination. But once they do it, we see, of course, this beautiful landscape and shot. But the most difficult part that Senku had within, of course, this anime episode is finding out where they are. Because everything around them, since it's been over 3,000 years, everything crumbled away. It doesn't matter if it's bridges, if it's buildings, or etc. like that. It's all going to be dust, and it's just basically landscape and trees and etc. But there's one thing that they discovered, which, of course, is this statue that belongs in Japan where they live. The statue is filled with bronze, which bronze of course is in uh crumble away or any sorts of that period so of course they use that material to create a weapon of science and one last thing they do is go up to a volcano because senku's mastermind plan that he wants to do is to create gunpowder and what i love so much about this episode and what's so scientific about it is that we see them far behind like the stone age period but gunpowder was made i believe it was 300 400 ad so they're moving up like that we see from the first episode 2019 2020 whatever period they are go all the way back to the stone age and just from that one material gunpowder as we follow throughout history they're speeding up time really quick especially with that fluid and their gunpowder which of course can make explosive to use against Tukasa. and Tukasa, what i say in this episode that he's more op is that even though he could basically wherever he is if he's in the ocean or he's hunting down animals he has the iq smarts as well so we see that tanju a nice brawn guy yeah no not a chance whatsoever we got a guy that has a 300 iq and has the strength at the exact same time this guy is basically unstoppable at this point but of course senku's mastermind is of course to make gunpowder not to make guns because they can't do that quite yet but to at least make explosives to use against tukasa and knowing senku he has to use his brain to go up against tukasa in the next episode or pre previous right here but will they make it in time as to Kasa knows what they are doing so that was episode three of dr stone and like i said this brawl is going to be insane because to Kasa is a guy to be scared about no matter what animal there is in the world this guy is a threat to everyone he's a guy that wants freedom within this world but he's also a murderer at the exact same time while senku and the game want to rescue humanity so they had to defeat this huge obstacle in front of them but the question is will they be able to do it but yeah episode three of dr stone i hope that you guys all enjoy my review right here i'm so excited for more of these episodes and it's still great that we're getting 24 episodes within this anime series but if you guys enjoyed my review right here of course make sure to leave a like comment down below what's your guys's favorite parts within this episode and subscribe to the channel that'd be greatly appreciated but either way ladies and gentlemen of course we'll see you guys next week for a brand new dr stone review much love guys and as always have yourselves a wonderful day